All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 28. And in this lesson, uh, we're gonna do the classic solving uh, take from problems with the result unknown. So that's basic five minus three, and then the idea is you have five dots, you subtract three, meaning you cross off three dots. It's a very traditional uh, way of thinking about subtraction. And uh, so let's get started. So the cool thing about this problem, uh, we, let's say we have seven minions. Um, the idea with subtraction when you're doing take from is you can choose your context. And this is a great e opportunity for the teachers to connect the context with the needs of the students. For example, if you have some students who love soccer, then choose a word problem that ha involves soccer. Uh, if you have kids who love dancing, then choose some dancers. I'm choosing minions just to show that, you know, we can make the context something that is inherently interesting to the kids. So let's say we say we have seven minions and four of them leave to go play soccer. So that's going to be seven minions, four of them leave to go play soccer. And we want to use the take from system this time. So we're going to cross off four of the minions. Now in the directions, they say they just want us to use a horizontal line. Boom, 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 like that. And uh, so what is our answer? Well, we have three minions left over. So the answer is three. All right, so that's the idea. And teachers, parents, this is the perfect time for you to connect um, the mathematics that we're supposed to be learning with the interests of your students. So that being said, we're going to do a bunch of context that may or may not be interesting to your students. So here we've got Bob. He buys eight new toy cars. He takes three out of the bag. How many cars are still in the bag? So let's draw that. And I'm going to use dots to represent the cars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I want you to notice I am trying to do this in the 10 frame style, five and five. And it says he takes three out of the bag. So that means I'm going to use my little red and I'm going to cross off three. So one, two, three. And how many are still in the bag? Well, we've got the five right here that are still in the bag. So what is that going to look like in our ten uh, number bond over here? Right here. Well, we know we had eight. Takes three out of the bag. And so the missing answer is five. The missing value is five. So what would our number sentence look like? It would look like eight minus three equals five. And so the answer is there are five cars still in the bag. So this is a very, very traditional way of thinking of subtraction. It's very common. The idea of when you subtract three, it means you are literally removing three objects. You're crossing off three objects. Uh, in previous videos, we've talked about the add-on method for subtraction, but this is the real traditional takeaway method. Same idea. The only thing that's really different here is the number bond is sideways instead of going up and down. That's intentional. That's just to allow our students a little bit of flexibility with how they see mathematics and how they solve mathematics. So we're going to start with Jordan is playing with 10 cars. So let's model that. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's our 10 frame of 10 cars, right? 5 and 5. There's our 10 cars. He gave 7 to Kate. All right, so let's cross those off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so the question is, how many are left over? How many cars is Jordan playing with now? Well, we've got those three cars left over. So what is our number bond going to look like? We've got a 10, we've got a 7, and then our missing value is a 3. So our number sentence, very traditional. And now the, the other cool thing is I almost made a mistake here. 
look at this. The equal sign is right here. So this guy, um, it's kind of swapped from where I was assuming. So really, it's going to be 10 minus 7 on the right side of that equation, the equal sign, and the left side is a 3. Whew, I almost made a mistake there. And so Jordan is playing with 3 cars now. And that wraps up first grade module 1 lesson 28 using the take from method to represent subtraction.